played football growing up, obviously baseball. I didn't really play basketball too much, but like different sports, but also was into the music, also was into different things growing up. So really when I got to high school, like I said, I wanted to go to Stanford. That was like my dream. I don't know why, like I just always loved Stanford. Cause my mom's an administrator in, in mm -hmm. school district. So I feel like she always kind of wanted me to pursue, you know, the academics. I was, I wanted to be like a lawyer, like my pops or something. And so high school, like I got that one offer my sophomore year from uh, Washington as a tight end, actually, funny enough. Oh, wow. hmm. I'm like, scam, playing tight end. <laughs> scam Putin. Uh, after that, I was like, all right, bet. Like, I guess that's what we're doing. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and honestly, I just really rode the wave for all that time. Like, just saw what happened and took, took a break, reassessed, came back. Like, yeah. so football to me, like, and going back to talking about the relationships and the brotherhood, like, you know, one thing, having gone away from football, being in it, you know, uh, my life doesn't revolve around football, you know what I'm saying? And so being in the facility, like, can get real tedious when you dedicate so much time and energy to this to this thing. But when you've got your brothers around you, it don't feel tedious at all. Right. Like, what I'm telling you, coming to the facility every single day, I'm happy, bro. Enjoying myself, talking, goofing around, but locking in when we need to, like, accomplishing things together, working towards the same goal, but also just being lighthearted and having fun, like, Who's this? Mister. This is Mister. <laughs> this is Mister. He's a ragdoll cat. He's from, uh, from We California. have another very special guest, Mr. Mister. <laughs> this is you a got blue cat. eyes. People like to hate on me for having a cat, but. I thought you had multiple cats, though. I did in college. I had two other cats and gave them away to the former mayor of Miami, funny enough. Really? Randomly. Found him on Facebook. And he Francis one of my Suarez? Cats. I don't, yeah, it was one of them. Because it might have been a mayor of like Coral Gables or something too, like one of them, yeah. but my sister was helping me find it and dropped him off and I skedaddled, went to Cali. Yeah. And then got drafted back here, so I really could have kept the cats. Right, 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 right. I think one cat's enough. If I had three cats here, I'd be pushing it. Nah, for sure. You might judge me a little bit. Nah, for sure. Just a little bit, which is understandable. You're a cat man. That's all right. Yeah. You sure. can be a cat man. I know who I am. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We first seen the picture of the cat, I was like, man, what's this dude got a cat? Come on, man. <laughs> but then, you know what I'm saying? You're my dog. You're my dog. I see, I see the vision now, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you, you Mr. Got cool, my dog, cool. The, uh, I see it. Mr. the main star the of the show thing. right now. He's sitting there front and center. 